Welcome back. In today's tutorial, well, first of all, I gotta give you a little bit of background about some of my artwork. So in like high school and like college and stuff, my, my, my artwork was a little dark. I kinda like drawing like scary stuff and cool stuff and, and things that were a little creepy. But now that I'm an old man, I like drawing cute stuff. I don't know if it's like a fatherly thing, like, you know, one of these days, one of these days I'm, I'm getting old I know but um maybe that's what it is but I really really like drawing cute things so I had to learn how to make things cute and once you have a few solid fundamentals on what makes something cute then you can make anything cute no matter what kind of object or what kind of animal or what kind of fruit or vegetable you can make them all cute and have a lot of fun so let's get to it let's get drawn let's get cute all right, so I'm going to try to just draw a variety of cute things. Okay, so let's start out with like... Let's make a random shape. I guess it's like a watermelon, maybe. But where do watermelons have... Don't they... I don't know where they... I feel like they probably have something like this, right? I don't know. It kind of looks like a weird-looking pumpkin. But we'll see. So let's say we want to, I, I kind of use the same principles that I would if I was doing an animal. But then I just kind of, I change them to fit whatever this, whatever this shape is. And I'm using the top, usually like an animal's head would be round, but I'm just going to use the top of this to, to kind of give it some personality. Okay, so this is these are like the eye sockets. This is the center line. So if I was doing an animal, the nose area would be about here. So the nose would be about here. So I'm just going to pretend I'll just pretend that all that's there. Make the mouth. And wherever these mouth, wherever the ends of the mouth, that's where you have to put the, the cheek. Because the reason when you smile, the reason why there's these marks like this is because it's pushing up the cheeks. So that's why I'm making this line instead of just the line here. Instead of this just this line, I'm making it like that because I have this so far up. Okay, so now that we have that... So we have the eye socket. This is that center line thing that I do just to so I know where the eyes are supposed to go. I mean not that I don't know where they're supposed to go, but I don't know. Sometimes you just need like little things to like guide you or make you make you feel like secure. And for some reason I just like doing those little lines. It can also help with the spacing because you want the spacing to be the same or like similar. And you can erase some of these. I can't even think of what markings a watermelon has. Off the top of my head, I feel like they have kind of spots. Not spots, but. <laughs> This is, man, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really talking out of my wheelhouse here. That's okay. You know, when you, you try talking when you're trying to pay attention to drawing and see how it is. <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun. Um, make these eyebrow type, type darker lines. You don't really need them, but. Do a little bit of that. 
if we really want to we can put some of these in there yeah I guess we'll leave them for now I don't I'm not, I don't mind them another quick tip if you want to make everything darker just duplicate the layer quick tip I do that all the time I do it a lot um, I'm just going to erase really quick I'm gonna make the jelly beans like I always do I mean I make the jelly beans on the top <coughs> Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? Sorry, this is getting, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm going to give him two. Her. Her? Maybe to her. I feel like two makes sense. I don't know why. I haven't done two in, in years. I know, I know watermelons wouldn't have that, but, <coughs> excuse me, watermelons wouldn't have that little mark, but it's so cute. Sometimes you can even make the little, like, little faint hint of, like, a little nugget nub. I'm not really sure what a nugget nub is, but, you know, sometimes when you're, when you're drawing, you just have to make up words. Okay, so, something like that. And watermelons are, oh, that's a little too, make it lighter than that. So this could be like a watermelon or like a, a bean. Could be like a little frijole, perhaps. And I feel like they have like, don't they have like spots on them? Kind of? I don't know, I could be way off. I don't, I actually don't know at all. I'm at a loss. Okay, so we have a little watermelon jelly bean type thing. Okay, since I said it, I'll do some quick, I'll do some quick jelly beans. a little lighter. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Alright, so let's say we want to do like a... We'll do a weird shape. Like a banana. Why do I feel like... Make sure my layer's okay. It feels a little light. Okay, so we're gonna do a banana. I don't think I've ever drawn a banana before. I'm completely free balling this. Oh, no, I drew some in art school. 20 years ago, like actually 20 years ago. All right, so we're drawing a banana. So we want his, where do we want his face at? We'll make his face in the middle. So I'll essentially just do the same, literally do the same thing where I think his eyes would go. give him a different expression just with the use of the eyebrows we'll use those eye lines let me erase in here first because we don't need these lines um, distract distracting you whenever you're sketching something and there's lines that are distracting or, st or you're starting to get a little like uh, I feel like too many lines can sort of make you anxious and kind of lose lose your head lose the plot been watching a Love Island UK terrible television terrific entertainment okay so I'm just making make his big eyes here that's another thing since this eye is here you can see it's it's more circular and since this eye is turned 
backwards, you know, since it's facing like a different plane. So this plane is here, whereas the other eye, the plane is here. So that's why you're seeing more, that's why this is more circular. And this one is more oblong because it's curved. So, you know, if it's like you take a circle and then you turn it, it just gets, it just gets narrower. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully Excuse me. Hopefully that picked up on camera my little my little hand hand gestures there. Same thing here. And nose and stuff would be about here. So Give him a different mouth than the banana. Give him a little little cheek pudge. Something like that. I'll change it. It's a little hard to see. I think my canvas is just too small. Also, this isn't like level, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, actually I think it looked fine. We'll give him a, we'll give him a small mouth, just so it's easier to see. And then we'll make him looking off to the side. Kind of a cute banana. Not too bad. Alright, what other fruit do we want to do? Oh, we'll do we'll do my Yeah, I don't want my canvas to be that that big. Okay. I mean that that small. I was zoomed in a little too much. Okay, so we'll do one of my favorites. I think I, I think I really jacked up these lines, but that's okay. It's a it's a gourd. Gourds are always jacked up, right? Let's see how I try to justify my mistakes. <laughs> it happens. This is a funny looking gourd. You know what? We're gonna go with it because it doesn't matter how ugly a gourd is. We're gonna make it, we're gonna try to make it cute. So, same principle. We'll make his eyes really far apart. Let's see. Let's see how that works. All right, so we've got these ridges. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of incorporate them. So this is kind of, I've never actually done anything like this, but this is just me adapting to whatever it is I'm, I'm drawing. So if they have these ridges, ridges, then it would just change the, it would change the shape. Okay, so the big nose muzzle type area would be here. So... And they do actually have noses. Pumpkins actually do have noses. We want to just go with a regular triangle for the nose. And we'll make, we'll give it like a carved look.
and we'll just make him we'll give him a little different um, we'll give him a little bit of a different expression Just because we've done all the same expressions, we'll just do something a little different for this poor little guy. So he's got a little bit of a... Okay, so let's, let's see if we can make this guy cuter. Maybe we can... Well, I kind of like when his, when his mouth is a little bit lower. Oh, I kind of like when his nose is a little higher. Let's see what happens when we... Let's see what happens when we do this. <laughs> Maybe we give him glasses. smaller give his little eye his eyelids a little more personality so they're not so flat and straight across <laughs> it looks kind of funny there but I feel like now that I did that what if I was to just Totally just do something off the wall and give him like a little mouth like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Just completely random with his little tooth. I don't think gourds have teeth. I think that I think he actually looks quite cute. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I like him. All right, so I think um I think that's pretty good for now for this one hopefully you guys liked hopefully you guys got some use out of um you know seeing how i make things cute oh yeah this canvas was way too small 
that's the problem if you do it on a really small canvas and then you try to make it bigger it gets blurry so but sometimes I do that because I don't like to I don't like to see I like to keep it a square for Instagram but I don't like to see the edges so I always have it really big that's okay they're just sketches so like if I really want to draw these I would trace over them anyway All right, thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. I hope that it was useful. Please, if you draw some cute things or if you're sketching some cute things, I would love to see them. Please tag me on Instagram and uh, or put me in the story and, and tag me. Whatever you want to do on Facebook as well, that's fine. I just want to see what you're creating. Um, I'd love to see, i love to know that my tutorials may be helpful or may be useful to people. So I would love to see what you make. Um, also, if you can, please watch my, my videos on YouTube because I just need the views. I don't get paid or anything, not yet, I'm working on it, but I need the views, so if you can, watch me on YouTube. There's a lot more content there. I post everything there first. So, once again, I appreciate you. Keep drawing, and I'll catch you in the next video.